Hey, and welcome to Chat with Steve. And I'm here with the Duchess. Uh, it's my friend's dog, but I look after her too. Uh, but thinking about the Ukraine and all the animals there that have been distressed and abandoned, uh, it's just unthinkable to me. And my guest today, um, I've actually gone down to Poland and they're going to the front line of the Ukraine and they're going to be rescuing and help rescue animals over there. Uh, the two people I admire and adore uh, is Wendy Turner-Webster and Gary Webster. Hi guys, how are you? Hi, Hi, Steve. Hi Steve. Hi, and, and who's this with you at the moment? This is a gorgeous dog. This dog is called Bambo. Bambo. So uh, Bambo uh, is here at the sanctuary in Viva, Poland and uh, has uh, come across from Ukraine <laughs> and uh, it has found sanctuary here. This wonderful <laughs> place sanct and sanctuary in uh, Viva, Poland run. I think you have to tell us, uh, and Duchess, what you're actually doing down there in Poland at the moment uh, and get, fill us in. Well, I'm a patron of Viva and have been for nearly 30 years since it started. Viva are in the UK, but for the last, I think, 18 or 20 years, they've had um, a, an office and a, a whole setup here in Poland. So we're at a 52-acre sanctuary here. And, of course, the sanctuary has just um, had rather a lot of new uh, residents come in from the Ukraine. They've yeah. been, you know, displaced because of the war and have ended up here. And also, though, Viva are providing, you know, the refugees, that the humans who come over and end up at sort of like Warsaw Station in Poland, the train station, the animals will arrive and they might need, you know, a new collar and lead, they might need feeding, they might need uh, some veterinary care, and Viva are there to help. I think it's really important uh, to point out there's people in the Ukraine now bravely getting the animals to the border, uh, and you're actually both going to the uh, the border on Saturday. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? That's yep. right. We're, we're going up to uh, the border tomorrow. We're taking some provisions and some much needed um, yeah, microchips, uh, equipment, some yeah. microchips. Uh, so the new dogs that are coming in can be, you know, microchips and, and, and uh, help that way. And also a lot of uh, containers, yeah. pet containers, you know, um, baskets. So the, the, the dogs or the cats or whatever pet we can put in there and then we can travel safely so um viva poland are, are doing this on a regular basis and we're kind of coattailing with them the volunteers in ukraine i mean that's incredible what they're doing but you two going down i, I hope you're not going to go across the border uh, are you a bit nervous about going over um i don't think we're particularly nervous because also the cause is, you know, something worth fighting for. Yeah. I mean, that's not to say, you know, if, if I could, I'd be helping the humans on the ground. You know, we're not allowed to do that at present due to government guidelines, etc. So we're just trying to help as the people of Ukraine as much as we can. Yeah. Um, but not really. The only concern would be that with someone like Putin, yeah. you know, um, anything can happen at any time. So he can change direction. He can decide he's going to bomb something somewhere else because I think that's how fragile his mind is at the moment so that might be a concern but not not for us you know there's a people are, are kind of going up there most days and brave people so we're happy to just you know as I say coattail with them jump on board and help out as much as we can. I mean Gary, Wendy, uh, I've been to the beautiful city of Kiev and I can imagine walking my dog and the, like I would do in London and now for those people not only can they not walk their, anim their animals or their pets, it's many have had to grab hold of them without leads or anything and get out. Uh, I mean it just must be terrifying for the people. Have you met people that have got stories of uh, escaping etc? Well, we, we uh, met some uh, yesterday. We met at uh, Warsaw train station, some refugees um, with their pets. Um, Got to say, some of them were surprisingly cheerful and resilient. Uh, Viva have at the train station um, a stand set up there so that um, people can bring pets, they can pick up food, they can pick up any accessories they need for their pet. They might need a carrier, a lead collar, litter tray, that kind of, of stuff. And I think um, what's also remarkable is that people are going in all different directions. So there was a woman coming over to go with her daughter in Holland. 
another daughter had decided to go to Germany. So even when they're making out of Ukraine, there's very a lot of displaced people, you know, yeah. which only adds to the tragedy of it all, you know. And where does the pet go? So, but for a lot of young families, the, the pet is a great comfort because it's yeah. it's something they can take with them. But of course, a lot have had to be left behind. I mean, Gary, Wendy, the trauma of war affects humans, but in animals, if you think of fireworks tonight, the things that must be much worse. Do you, have you got people at Viva that are able to help with the trauma for animals? Yes, there's behaviourists here. There's a vet who uh, is is on site uh, full time, and so they're really well set up here for uh, casualties, but both trauma um, uh, situations with the animals, and also injuries and um, you know behavioural problems from this. So at the minute, I might have said this before. There's about a hundred cats and dogs who are currently here because of the conflict um, and, and they all they all need help and, and rehoming. Well, obviously we, we've all got loving home for the dogs and we couldn't imagine being without Duchess. Um, but the animals, they come to the sanctuary. I know they quarantine for uh, X amount of days uh, and then you want to rehome them. How would people in the UK uh, go about adopting one of these pet, one of these animals, or uh, I know you're trying to relocate them back with the families also, but how would you go ahead getting one of these animals uh, that need a loving home and bringing them to the UK? The dogs are barking, so I didn't catch all you said, but I think I've got enough of it. Uh, when, when the dogs come over from Ukraine and are rescued, I believe they need 15 days yeah. quarantine, but of course... They probably kept longer for that because of any problems with them or, or health issues, etc. Um, and then, sort of, with them going on from there, some it's much easier to rehome here in Poland. Um, I think some the, have gone to the UK. What's the website? Viva. Oh yes, the website. And Steve, if anybody wants to uh, get in touch with Viva. And it's all on their website, which is viva.org.uk. And Viva are on Facebook as well, which which is Viva Vegan Campaigns. Yes, I've got it right. <laughs> <laughs> and talking about veganism, Wendy, I know that you've been a lifelong vegan. And Gary, you've just come out, I understand. <laughs> so you'll be on the vegan parade, no doubt. Um, but what, what uh, I, I know the support supports veganism, but what's a, the what's a food like in Poland? I mean, I, I almost think Poland meat, uh, Polish sausage. It's been amazing, really amazing. In fact, we, we've talked so much about the fabulous food we've been eating. It is so easy to be vegan here, really well catered for. It's almost too easy because I think I'm eating more here than I expected to. <laughs> On the downside, there will be people that will say we need to look after humans first and then the animals. I mean, what do you say to that? Uh, I know I would say, but uh, I'm asking you both. Oh no, we, we fully understand that. And with, to us, it's it's a it's a it's, it's a joint effort. Of course, human life is as valuable as any other life, as is an animal's life. And that we're all so interconnected on some on a tragedy of this scale. But you know, as I said before, if I could. I would be out there fighting the good fight on yeah. the ground, helping the humans. We can only do what we can do. So we know that there is a benefit to also be helping animals out because they mean so much to people yeah. who are having to move and mass migrate because of uh, someone like Putin. Yeah. So, you know, that, that that is appreciated as much as what our guys and our, you know, the governments will do to, to help those on the ground to actually stop the bombs dropping you know so to me they're they're in tandem together they're both all interconnected and we must do our best just to help people and animals there your boys uh, your family must be very proud of what you're doing do they not want to come they're happy that we're away for a week i think you know <laughs> they didn't want to come well, they, yeah, they're chuffed to bits. 
<laughs> yeah, no, that, they, they, I think they they understand, you know, and they understand the value of what we're doing. You know, that um, they wouldn't want us to actually go too deep into Ukraine or too close to the border, but they fully understand, you know, and as I say, they've got the weekend to themselves, so they'll be, they're quite happy. Duchess is chipped. I uh, understand you're going down on Saturday to bring a lot of chips to the animals. Part. Could you tell people how that actually helps, please? Well, um, because once the animal's microchipped, then if it were to escape or get yeah. away, there's, there's then an immediate traceable yeah. route back to the sanctuary. Oh, um, so uh, so it, it's pretty important. It, it's, um, yeah, it, it's something that, uh, you know, re really it would be better if it was done. So they um, asked Viva if they could uh, get a load of microchips up to the border. And uh, yeah, we volunteered to go. We've, uh, somebody's driving us up there tomorrow and a translator. And, uh, you know, and we'll be back on social media, just shedding a bit of light on, you know, what kind of thing is going on there. Oh, just... I mean, really, S Steve, it's brilliant that, you know, we'd be able to come on to shows like yours. Yeah. What we primarily wanted to do was come here and, and uh, give a, a kind of highlight and give a spotlight on what yeah. the charity's doing. Yeah, that's so check. thank you. Uh, Gary, Wendy, I can't tell you how proud I am of you. Really good luck on Saturday. Please be safe. Don't let Gary crawl over. <laughs> and we'll, for everyone listening, we'll put all the details of the charity below. Um, great. Just disagree. Brilliant. Yes, I should probably be on that. But listen, guys, please be safe on Saturday. I'll be thinking we will. We will. And, and we love you very much and congratulations. Thank uh, you. Thank love you, you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Love you, Steve. Bye, 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 bye. bye, -bye.